Greetings, Internet, and welcome to the season finale of Insane Ian Taste Tests. And this week... Uh, how do I put this? I couldn't find anything. Uh, and then a friend of mine, who enjoys watching this show, decided to just give me stuff from his pantry. So, that's what we're doing, that's what we're trying, that's what I'm eating for the first time. That's why it's the season finale, kids. I'm, I'm running out of things to eat, and uh, I don't want to eat too much junk food and drink too many sodas and have my teeth rot out of my skull and get to the point where I need to be rolled places. So, season finale meaning we're taking a little break after this episode. Not too long of a break because... Halloween candy is coming out, and I'm sure there are going to be interesting things to try. But, in the meantime, we have organic roasted seaweed snacks. Yep. And caramel marshmallows. Aww. Uh, these are from Vosges. V-O-S-G-E-S. I don't know how to pronounce that. I butchered it. Whatever. These are exciting. These are not winter harvest flavored. Sure. My friend Matt raided his pantry for snacks that I've never had and handed these off to me. So thank you, Matt. Appreciate this. So, we are going to have the organic roasted seaweed snack winter harvest flavor. First, Matt told me that these are a decent snack if you want something crunchy like a chip, but uh, don't want to have something bad for you like a chip. Kind of healthy. This package contains a silica gel packet. Do not eat! Keep out of reach of children. Contents may become soggy after exposure to humidity. Heat for 20 to 30 seconds in a microwave after removing the product from the aluminum packaging to restore crispness. There are three ingredients. Organic seaweed, organic canola oil, and sea salt. I took these uh, from Matt because I didn't want to appear rude. Uh, and then I know he'll be watching this, but I'm not excited about them. I'm sorry. I like fattening snacks. I like sweet things. Are they individually wrapped, or is that what they actually are? I... It's saltier than I expected anything to taste. It's like eating tissue paper that someone salted. It has no smell, by the way. It doesn't smell like anything sticks in the back of your throat. Close that back up. I thought they would be like thicker crackers. These are, these are seaweed somebody pounded flat into a rectangular shape-ish and it's just, they're not crisp like chips. It, it's a, and then it springs back after folding it. And I've been told if you eat a lot of these, it's like Drinking Mountain Dew Green Label. You'll see it in the aftermath. <laughs> Very salty. Well, that's a snack for some people. Oh my, that was an experience. Now, we move on to Madagascar Bourbon Vanilla Marshmallows. Uh, salted caramel on them. Caramel marshmallows, fluffy marshmallows, burnt sugar caramel. Not salted, burnt sugar. This packaging is insane. This is like very hoity-toity. Pillows of fluffy vanilla bean marshmallow, cushioned walnut and pecan studded chewy caramel. Each morsel is cut by hand, enrobed in 62% cocoa dark chocolate, and crowned with crumbles of walnuts and pecans. The combination of flavors is sublime. But the combination of textures is the secret to the addicting allure. <sighs> Do we really need that? Marshmallows. Nuts. It's caramel. It's 
Stick it in my face! That thick card stuff. And and then more packaging. Now admittedly, I haven't had any of these yet, but Matt already did. Matt and his wife Tara uh, already enjoyed some of them and they went, oh, we, we shouldn't eat the rest of these. They gave them to me. I will probably eat all of these. I will probably not eat any more of the seaweed. But anyway, healthy looking marshmallow right there. Holy crap. All sorts of walnuts and pecans on top. It's exciting. No, no smell other than like chocolate, whatever, but here we go. Oh. That's damn nice. Good, thick, rich, dark chocolate. The marshmallow, not super fluffy, but admittedly, I don't know how long they've had these. Still soft enough. The, the walnuts and pecans are, are decent. That caramel is really, really rich. Chocolate is really rich. This box was probably $20. I have no idea. I don't know how much it was. I didn't ask them. But just the packaging. I mean, this is almost lined in velvet. It's not really, but it almost is. Decadence. Ha! Man. Talk about a tonal shift. Thin, salty, seaweed snack. Thick, rich, dark chocolate and caramel covered marshmallows. Well, that's the end of the first season. Like I said, uh, I want to take a little break, get my weight back under control, make sure my teeth aren't rotting out of my skull. It's going to be a short break because Halloween candy and all the goodies are there. If you liked this episode, maybe leave me some comments, let me know what you liked about them, what you liked about the season, and also maybe like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, I have playlists here of all the previous episodes in the season, and if you could, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon so I can bring you new videos, better videos, making of videos, and more videos, videos, videos. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.